everybody and welcome to Storytime with Zara. Today I'm going to be reading you a new book. I haven't been reading to you for quite a while. I found out that this book was very, very new. It was written in 2020 in the lockdown. Quite new. It's called Thank You by Joseph Coho and Sam Usher. every day to everyone whenever he could. Thank you to mum and dad for making breakfast. Thank you. Thank you to the post lady for delivering his favourite comic. Thank you. Thank you to his teacher for marking his work. Thank you. Thank you to the shopping assistants for, sta for stacking the shelves. Thank you. But lately he seemed that no one could hear his thank you. Their heads were foggy with worry and clouded with fear. So, Tatenda decided to say the biggest thank you ever. He stood on tiptoe and stretched his arms high over his head and the thank you in him bubbled. He brought his arms down wide like a huge rainbow, big enough to hug the entire world. And the thank you in him fizzed. And this time, Thank you came out different. He could see it. His thank you floated around the kitchen and zipped out the front door. To tend that mum and dad followed it past the post lady who smiled when she saw it. And the post lady's smile made the thank you grow and glow. To tend that mum, dad and the post lady chased the thank you to school where all the teachers and children gasped when they saw it and it grew on their gasps and a little of the sparkle from the teacher's eyes shone within it. To tend them, mum, dad, the post lady, the teachers and the children chased a thank you to the local market where all the stall holders gazed up and laughed as it floated by, getting bigger on their chuckles and giggling as it went. You drifted into the branches of the huge oak tree and got stuck. Uh oh. To tend up mum, dad, the post lady, the teachers, the children, and the stall holders tried to get it down with selfie sticks, umbrellas, and walking canes. Nothing worked. So they made a ladder of bodies for Tatenda to climb. He he caught hold of an edge of the thank you and everyone pulled. And the thank you popped. A ribbon of thank yous danced away on the wind. Some were by the bakers where, where they rose and sweetened like hot buns. Some flew by the doctors where they got bold and braver. Some of the thank yous landed by the dustbin men and ballooned and sang. By the end of the day, the thank you had left traces of themselves everywhere, leaving a little bit of their colour and joy around the whole town as they went. As they bobbed by nurses, hovered by road sweepers, flickered by librarians, wafted by builders and rolled around bus drivers. As the sun set that evening, everyone went home with a little thank you nestled in their hearts. And as mum and dad tucked Tender into bed, they whispered, good night Tender and thank you. Do you remember when I said at the, front, at the start of the story that this book was very new? So, Joseph Colho, he probably thought that it was very kind to make people happy and he can feel happy when people, when you make people happy too. Goodbye and see you next time.